What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen back again for another Outer Plane video and for today let's talk about Outer Plane's very first event called The Reaper and the Gangster. So this is a story event, a story farming event. You can find it here in the lower right section. Uh, as you can see here we have some uh, uh, enter story. This is the story mode. We have normal mode and hard mode. Uh, this is a farming event where you can farm uh, this type of newspaper here. What is it called? Uh, counterfeit money. So this is the event uh, currency where you can exchange this one in the shop, in the exchange shop. So yeah, you will just be farming this one non-stop, endlessly, as long as you have the stamina. And I believe it's worth farming this event. Uh, we have also here the hard stages. Uh, which has a daily limit of 10 times per day so yeah we cannot just uh, farm endlessly on the hard stage but only on the normal ones there is a big gripe for this uh, very first event of outer plane which is it's somewhat like a pay to win event why did i say it's a pay to win event it's mainly because uh, some of the stages needs you to have the featured character on the banner right now which is eternal and as you can see here uh, where is the condition? As you can see, eternal in your team. So you cannot three-star this one if you do not if you do not have the, uh, or if you do not own the new character eternal in your in your lineup. And there there could be some improvements to this one if and only if the developers uh, will uh, let us try to borrow friend support. But as you can see, we cannot use friend support in this type of uh, farming event, which is kind of a shame because uh, it's very typical in most gacha games that has this type of a farming event where even if you don't own the featured character you can still borrow from some friends that way it is not uh, that that way everyone can still get all the three star peer rewards and all uh, will be happy with this one as you can see the final reward for this one as three normal tickets for the normal uh, story and then for the hard one uh, we have here three special tickets also that can be used to for the limited banner that we have right now and as you can see i cannot fully clear all of the stars here because i am missing the future character eternal uh, that is a really big letdown and i know a lot of people are frustrated with this type of uh, event because uh, it screams pay to win event because uh, if you cannot clear all of the stages with uh, all three stars without even spending in the game it is clearly a pay to win event but hopefully since this is only the very first event hopefully in the next upcoming event or maybe in next week they will try to uh, redo the patch here or apply some patch where we can use friend support in order for us to clear all the stages with three stars that is what i'm hoping and i know a lot of people have already expressed their uh, uh their in the feedback section in the official uh, outer plane discord server now as you can see we have here some rank challenge this one is really good because as you can see if you if this is a uh, damage event you can get books and also some summon tickets here as you can see i've already have a triple s rank here uh, the team that I use is uh, this one, uh, pretty much the standard team, Noah, Tio, Valenta, and then I just put Rin here because uh, she is uh, the one that has uh, that has been uh, that I have been using uh, with, with fully geared because it's really a uh, hassle to change gears, but we will be doing that one when we try to do the guild boss so i'm not gonna be talking about the guild boss in this video because that one needs a separate video of its own and as you can see here we have here the event missions uh, just by doing some things uh, daily things in your uh, daily farming daily farming routine you can get you can get some a uh, lot of really good rewards books ethers golds nice some uh, ascension materials some develop materials and some gear materials uh, we really need those books and as you can see there are a lot of uh, events here 
And this is only week 1. I'm I'm guessing there will be a week 2 mission also after this after the week 1 because this is only week 1, right? Uh, I'm really hoping there will be a week 2. Now let us take a look at the event shop. The event shop looks kind of good in my honest opinion because as you can see here we have here lobby casino. This one gives you a uh, background casino team lobby. Then some frame for your uh, avatar de decoration. Uh, lobby mascot, I still don't know because I have not purchased this one. Uh, because what I did purchase was the this one, the stage 3 gem chest. This, this is my priority because uh, this is the very first uh, time that I we can get this one. Uh, we weapon is uh, pretty good. Even though it is a 5 star, you can fully... Mm, not really fully a uh, breakthrough because the sorcerer's family heirloom here this one is re uh, required to uh, break through this one this weapon but the substance of this one are really really good as you can see crit chance crit damage speed defense but it's on the low roll i think this one are low roll But pre gear is a pre gear. A pre red, uh, red gear is uh, always welcome, especially for newbies or beginners. Uh, they will have some access to this one. And also, as you can see, we have a lot of eternal shard pieces here. So 16 times 5 is around uh, 80. Yeah, 80 shards free just by farming the event, and also some 40 shards for Valentine just by doing the event, which is really, really nice. Uh, I think they should have put some uh, skill books here because skill books are very rare. I don't know why they did not put any skill books here. And I think this one are worth uh, trying to buy all of this one, especially except for this one. This a uh, blue blue knight. I don't think this one is a uh, worth uh, buying, but this one the refined blue knight is a uh, worth buying for because uh, you can uh, break through a legendary gear with this one. Uh, abrasive is also always good uh, stake dish low priority gold low priority as of now because uh, there are way better you can always already farm this one in other stages in the game but these things uh, that you cannot farm normally are the priority in this uh, in this event shop this should be your main priority so while we're at it let's just buy this one and let us see let us try to roll this one so that I can show you that this one is the uh, breakthrough material for that one. We can fully break through that one. So yeah, that is the Reaper and the Gangster story event. It's kinda okay, but as I've said, it's somewhat a pay to win event. Maybe next week uh, they will change that one. Hopefully, hopefully you will submit some feedbacks to the developers because uh, maybe they will change their mind uh, with regards to that one. So this one is the weapon that we've got, right? And as you can see, we can fully, not fully, four times breakthrough. Oh yeah, we can break through four times. Fully max out. So it's not really the... Wait. Wait. Why? Oh fuck, this one is not really worth uh, leveling up. Why? It's because it's health. I, I was not really paying attention to this one. Like what? Well, anyways, I think uh, that one is a kind of a blunder. Blunder right there. I hope that you have fun with this uh, new event. I have fun uh, playing this one and reading the story also. It's somewhat okay. It's not mid. It's okay. Well, mid is somewhat okay also, so it's kind of mid, but uh, it's understandable since this is uh, Outer Plane's very first uh, event uh, since launch. And I think that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.